Breaking tonight right here at the live desk, still an active scene in Louisville at this hour tonight. Crews there now putting plywood over the shot out windows at Old National Bank. Others now clearing the shattered glass from the sidewalk. And in another breaking update tonight, we're now hearing from bank employees about those chaotic moments as the shooter opened fire, people taking cover under desks and even in the bank vault. Others say they sprinted right out of the building. We heard a click and the lady next to me turned around and said, what the hell? And then he just started shooting. I opened the door to see where he was at and I could see him still shooting. I didn't see his face and then I took off running out the front door. In the last hour now, we've learned the death toll has risen to five people after another woman passed away from her injuries. And we're getting our first photo of one of the victims right here. This is Tommy Elliott. He was a senior vice president at the bank and a close friend of both the governor and the mayor of Louisville. At least three other employees of Old National Bank were killed when the shooter opened fire with a rifle in one of the bank's conference rooms. Police identifying him tonight as 25-year-old Connor Sturgeon, saying he live-streamed that attack on Instagram. He was an employee at the bank, but was recently notified he would be fired. CNN also reporting tonight that he wrote a note to family and friends about his plans for this very shooting. Police were not aware of any criminal history at this point and have now searched his home for any other clues. The FBI now helping in this investigation, and they are asking anyone with information to submit any tips to their website.